So today we're going to be looking at the ticker history method and what in the world it does. And you're going to notice real soon Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we're going to be continuing on with our stock market data series. So all right, today we're going to be delving into the ticker a little bit more about one of the uh, methods. <clears throat> and if you're new here, thanks for joining us. This is what we do. We do one topic at a time and we're going to be expanding on this pretty quick. So make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe button and most important, the notification bell. So, so today we're going to be looking at the ticker history method and what in the world it does. And you're going to notice real soon and recognize it and uh, see that there's a lot we can do. And we'll just jump forward. So all right, uh, let's run dir on AA. <clears throat> and uh, H, H, I, well, here is help AA dot history. Helps if you spell it correctly and don't get ahead. Uh oh, here we go. And I want you to see history method. Okay. Periods, interval, start date. Because we're gonna we're gonna utilize this. So AA dot history. So period it defaults to a month and interval. So if we just run this. Oh wow, wait a second. This looks eerily familiar. Type AA dot history. Uh, shoot, I forgot that it needs the method. Ha ha ha, look at that. We know a ton about data frames, but all right, I digress. So these, we need to go into what this is. So course the close is pretty simple so that is the end of the day the open is where it opens uh, at the very first trade now this is kind of an important little tidbit it does not necessarily have to open at where it left off so it can just the first trade can be somebody saying that they want to pay a lot more or a lot less so you can see from here yesterday to I'm sorry it's down here so from yesterday to today, it jumped up quite a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I haven't had a chance to look and to see what is anything going on, but we learned yesterday that Alcoa is losing a lot of money. So, but again, this is just our test case. So it does not have to open uh, at the price it left off. And then we can then see here, Here's the high, got all the way up to $8.90, and its low was literally the open. So you can see here, without even having to, uh, well actually, why don't we look? So we can do period, day, and then interval. How about we do minute? So let's pull this up. One day and then one minute. So here we are. So as, as we can see, let's do, let's do uh, 15 minutes. There we are. So as you can see, as we go throughout the day, the last 15 minutes, so it's it's up. Oh, there we go. This is a perfect example. So all the trading happened at the beginning of the day in the first uh, 15 minutes. And then if you look at this right here, a ton of trading at the end of the day. And guess what? We know how to graph all this stuff. So we are going to, and then these columns are any dividends, any stock splits, and we'll delve into that more. But this is just wetting our whistle just a little bit with the history and everything that we can do. And we're gonna learn about this and then we're gonna go and really delve into 
uh, some screeners and some characteristics that are pretty standard and then uh, anything you want to build, you'll know how to do it. Um, and then we can go through and actually let's do the year. Let's do the year. Uh, one Y and I think it's one D. So we could go through and take this because this is kind of a little pre precursor. So you can see that in graphs and charts, things happen together. So we could go through here. So here's here's one year. And I've told you about 52 week highs and 52 week lows. And then we have 200 day moving averages. So you can go and grab those, but I actually want us to go in and build our own because I like extra things of where is it trading compared to the high and then where is it compared compare where is it trading comparing it to its moving averages so I like to take derivatives of what everybody else does because I think differently and this is one of the places where it shows up and I'll show you I'll show you a lot of stuff but we'll get we'll get through it so in the past <clears throat> year I want you to see this there is not a lot of trading going on and now in the past week look at the trading compared to last year all right five times sometimes sometimes more that that says a lot when the volume goes up so that's more people involved or they're buying larger or selling larger positions tells you a lot so this is just the beginning so we'll we'll tiptoe through it just like we always do so please drop any comments questions or any video requests down below and as always thanks for watching guys stay tuned and we'll see you next time bye guys hey guys thanks for joining us today I hope you really enjoyed today's video and if you haven't check out this video right here or this one right down here and most important, make sure you're hitting this subscribe button and the notification bell. Thanks again for joining us, and we hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.